Right, so I wanted to show you the new sample layouts insert. Um, this insert has a lot of our most popular layouts on the inside of it, so that way you can get a good idea of several different inserts, see what might work best for you. Um, this is great for if you're not sure which direction to go, um, or if you want to maybe share um, the Tula 12 organizers with a friend, and they're not sure which inserts they want, this is a great way to start. So this is our sample layouts insert. Um, you can get this in several different covers as well. Again, on the inside, just the blank pages to leave a note. Your first couple in here, this is going to be our budget and bill pay insert. So you can see on the one side, there's a space to put your checking information, savings, debt, bill pay. There, I love this part here. You can put a check mark for scheduled and it's got a check mark for paid. So you can keep track of how well you're doing for the month, making sure that you're on track with getting everything paid on time. Next one is going to be my favorite insert. This is the meal plan and grocery shopping insert. Um, so the meal and grocery shopping. This one on the one side, you've got your space for your meal plans. I personally break this up into three sections. So I do um, a line here and then a line here and I break it up by breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It just makes it easier for me at home with the kiddos. And then there's a space for shopping and again, check marks. Uh, so great space here. I also will usually leave a space down here for how much the grocery shopping was so I can keep track of the budget for the month. Next one here is going to be our horizontal weekly. This is also available unlined and there are dated options as well. Um, again, most of these have other options on the website. This is just um, a few of the most popular ones on here. So this is the horizontal weekly, undated. This is the one that I just finished using. So this is the block weekly. This is the undated version. Um, there's also a version that's dated. There's also a version that's lined. So a couple different options there. I love that there's a space for notes, a space for must do it, and a space for on the list with check boxes so you can check mark things off as you finish. Next on here is gonna be your week on one page. So another weekly option, you got your dates all here on the side. Again, this is undated, there is a dated option available. You got your check marks here and then a note section as well. Next one is going to be cleaning insert. So. Um, you've got space for each of your rooms. Um, you have space for organize. Um, you can do this like on a weekly basis. You can do this for a more detailed uh, quarterly cleaning. So several different options here that you can use as well. Next one up is going to be our food tracker. So if you're just starting a new diet or need to track things for a medical condition or for your doctor, for your fitness coach, whatever it may be, this is a great spot to do it. You have your breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, um, and then total number as well. So if you're doing anything that counts numbers or calories, you've got space right there to do that. Uh, next one is going to be grocery shopping. Um, this makes it super easy to get your groceries done. You can keep everything all organized by category, where it is, and then check marks for when you actually get the item so you can make sure you get everything you need. Next one in here is going to be um, our month at a glance. So on the left side, you're going to have a spot for your month. Top priorities, goals, appointments, notes, and then on the right, you'll have birthdays and occasions. So you can have everything there, um, and it's listed by date, so you can see exactly what needs to happen. Again, there's lots of space in there to make additional notes, um, check marks, highlights, whatever you may need to do. Um, Next two on here are going to be some pretty basic ones, but ones that are very, very helpful. You've got your to-do list. We have a couple different to-do list options um, currently available on the website. Um, this one's just a straight to-do list, and then also there's just a straight notebook paper. So those are, these are two different inserts that are available. Um, next couple, again, just really popular ones for no matter what you're getting an organizer for. Uh, these are just great options to have. Uh, the first one's going to be your address book. Um, you have three per page. Again, this is a medium, so this is a pretty good standard size, no matter what you're needing it for. The small gets a little tight and filling all this information in. Um, the extra large is a great size as well. Um, the next page is going to be your password insert. So um, you've got a space for the site, your login, and your password. Keep it all in one space. The next insert on here is going to be our check register. So those of you that still use paper checks a lot um, or need to keep everything in one space, this is a great option for that. Um, and then the other one on here is going to be our daily hourly. Um, this one is undated. We do have a dated one available. Um, again, you've got space from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. 
Um, you got a section for must do it on the list. Again, these check marks are great. It helps you really prioritize your items for the day, what you, what needs to get done, and what can wait. And then you've got space for notes as well. Um, this insert is really fun. This is our health and wellness insert. Um, this one can be m m changed up for exactly what you need to do. Um, this bottom checks in here for sleep. Um, I've seen people change this um, to do like a mental health tracker. Um, there's a space for meals. Again, I've seen people do other things with this. All right, going back to the health and wellness insert. Sorry about that. Um, there's space really to make this your own. You can also make this a meal planner. Um, there's a lot of options to, um, I've seen people uh, close this off and put like a washi tape over that and make that more of a to-do list. Space for activities, times, you can put your work schedule on here, lots of options. Another one on here is a, just a straight shopping list. This isn't necessarily for groceries, it's not broken out um, into that, but you can definitely do that as well. This would be great also for like home improvement projects, going to Home Depot, whatever, put everything in one spot. Next one on here is purchases and spending. Um, so space for date, what store, the item, how much you paid, has it been shipped, and has it been received. Um, those of you that are in a sales uh, company, this would also be great to figure out, okay, when did I send items out? Has the item been received by that person? So this also can be used for that. Um, next one is goals and habits. So this one um, has uh, several different goals on here. You've got the 31 days, and you've got um, space to write things up on top here as well. So you have really a lot of options for this, um, whether they are um, personal goals or business goals, whatever it may be. Um, you've got lots of flexibility there. Um, water intake, exercise, walking, um, meditation, whatever it may be, you've got space for that in there. Uh, next one in here is going to be your appointment book. There is also a dated option that goes from 8 in the morning until 9 at night. Um, there's space for the hour and then the half hour as well. And then the prayer request insert. This is a fairly new set. We have lots of different faith options available. So there's a prayer request space. Um, and this one, can you can also... I like the fact that you can look back at this later and look at it more as a, a blessing book um, or a praise journal. So there's a lot of great options with that. So this is our um, sample layout insert. Again, lots of great options for you for those that are just starting with the Tula 12 lifestyle organizers to get some good options and see what all there is available.